my friends are watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine and I have the strongest of urges to abandon doing this video and go watch it with them, but I have to create at least one content today or I die. Hello YouTube! Before I begin, I wanted to do a quick shout out at Sippy Straw on Instagram. He made this shirt. It's a good shirt. I don't know if the shirt is still in stock, but support artists. I'll put links to his store and pages in my description. Anyways, don't be sad. You're so sexy. Aha! <laughs> You know like when you say things a lot ironically just like for the heck of it and like it becomes part of your personality? Well yeah, that's me with like the phrase sexy. I don't know when it started. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that, but yeah. The title of this should be room tour. So this is a room tour or will be a room tour slash a suite tour. If you didn't know already, if that wasn't obvious from my constant depressing demeanor, <laughs> I'm a college student and I live in like a roommate dorm situation. Why do I want to do a room tour? Why now? Uh, because it is the end of the semester. I'm done with finals and I'm moving out in less than 24 hours. Have not packed at all. Well, I put one thing into one box. That's so that's how I'm doing right now. So here we are making video audio media. I'll be showing you my room, the common area of my suite that I live in with my roommates. Let's go. All right, so when you first come to America and you enter the White House and you go down to the left and then to the right, take another right, take a left, you'll eventually come across this door. And this is the door to my living space. Once you arrive to the door, you may wonder, how do I enter? Am I allowed to enter? And actually, yes, you are. Do a little lift up, push, pull in, push again. Okay, and then we enter. <laughs> That's stupid. Wow, change of angle. My room is basically a box. I think what I'll divide it into this side first and then we'll turn the camera around and figure out what we're doing because I have no idea what I'm doing. This is my prize, not possession, but like thing I'm proud of the most in my college career. Every year that I've spent on campus, I've, um, I've like had an art wall in my room and then now I have all this. It's like, it's, I don't think it's that impressive compared to some other um, like collections of art that people. What's the point of this thumbtack? Interesting. We have an assortment of items. So there are some prints. These are like four postcard size prints. These are from films that were screened on campus that I don't even know if I'm in frame anymore. This is a pillowcase from Morocco. Can you hear that? That's the bell tower. Reminding me that I should be packing right now, but I'm not. I'm doing this. Have these two fans. This one's from Japan. I got it from like an ant. And this one is from Indonesia. Here's a little sumo wrestler carrying groceries. <laughs> this makes me seem like a weeb. I swear I'm not a weeb. <laughs> I'm not gonna really show this off, but this is like a cork board full of pictures and you can't see any of them because all of these people are currently on the run from the United States government. I made a blood oath to all of them that I would not reveal their identities. This is my study area where I like to cry and fall asleep at. <laughs> Here we have a printer, we have headphones, we have three drawers. This top one is full of... <sighs> we can't talk about this top. I promised that I wouldn't. The second one is, I think, just like school supplies. <laughs> the last one here is where I put towels and bed sheets. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. Here we have this chair that's really annoying because it's not actually flat, it rocks. And you're saying, wow, what a cool feature, a chair that rocks. No, it's not cool. It's annoying because I just want to sit still, but I can't sit still because I'm always constantly shaky. So it's just. I'm fine. This is my trusty device for doing homework and writing things. These are writing utensils. Here is a mirror. Occasionally I'll look at it and go, oh geez, what the hell is that? These are my trash and recycling receptacles. I cleared them out earlier, just for you. Last but not least, we have the wall that is on the opposite side of the art wall that you saw earlier, and that is the bed wall. <laughs> this is where I lay comatose for hours at a time in order to avoid all my problems. Uh, you may be wondering, Salsa, what do you use this stool for? I use it to get onto the bed. I can't get onto it without, so it's, a, it's like a whole like a step process. Yeah, it's kind of lame. As is life, as is life. If I wear a hijab and like it drops here, it just looks like a buff dude and you're so sexy. <laughs> I'm always constantly like, oh crap. 
make sure you can make you can see that it's a cat i don't know if that's any better this is the intended effect if you recall i made the how to college video and i talked about having a napping space um well my napping space kind of turned into a storage space you can see i kind of just shoved stuff into it i swear this is fake <laughs> yeah i if you didn't know already, I am a film student. One of my films this semester, I we needed some fake blood and I made it in this bottle with ingredients that I cannot legally disclose. I made too much. So <clears throat> if you have any suggestions uh, or if you would like any, let me know. Good evening. I went to law school. I simply entered the building and exited the building. I believe I am qualified to be your president. I will be the first male white president if elected. Thank you. <laughs> what do I do? How should I sit? How should I sit? If elected president, I will completely eliminate taxes. I will make sure each and every one of you have a backyard and a front yard, if you please. I will make sure that each and every one of you have a living room just like this. The moment I am elected, trucks will arrive at your door with not one, not two, but three items to sit upon. If elected your president, you may or may not get free access to Hulu for three months. This is a television that I use in my home. I don't use Hulu. Next, we have this box of chocolates. This is what we eat for breakfast every day. The pumpkins will be, uh, are being saved for a special meal that we'll have on Christmas Eve Eve. Each one of my roommates will select a pumpkin. We cheers, SO. And then we all simultaneously take a bite into the pumpkin. Moving on. This is my Maybe vice presidential candidate. If you elect me, you may also elect her. I might change my mind about her at the last second. <laughs> what will you do if we elect you as vice president? Bare minimum. I change my mind. If I get elected vice president, <laughs> I will make all donuts free. I don't, I don't know about that. Whatever, oh, Mr. Oh. White President. Was that a jab? I smell racism. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Moving on to the most important part of my mansion, the kitchen. This is where I feast, if you will. Just yesterday, I tried donuts for the first time. They were okay? Next, we have my dining table. Right now, it's in its miniaturized form. It expands so that it can hold at least 50 people. We have to expand it every Friday because we have lots of guests over every Friday. We're really popular, I promise. If you want to come to our Friday parties, please text me on Instagram at 1-800-statefarm.com. All right, this is the bathroom. There are two sinks and one soap. That's all I really care to show you. Because if you know any more, the government might find me. Thanks for watching. Please vote for me to be your first white male president in 2024. Have a wonderful day.